Hey everyone, this is Lucky70X, welcome back to Let's Play Jake Coon 2. In the last episode, we took on, uh, well, we took on basically the second floor of the fire tower because we had so many battles that it took that long, and we were also, you know, spending the time uh, getting the tournament done as well. Just because now in this episode, we can finish up the fire tower and end up at a nice even pace. Please doing? tell me you're not in there battle. You okay? Without a mask? Who's still a kid, so he likes that hat of his. But what about you? Are you feeling all right? Forest air get to you? You can't tell me that I would be affected. Hey, you, you totally okay? would. Everyone you else has. Okay? No, I'm just fine. Darn it! I. What am I doing in such a place? Since when? Yep, he is gone, Loopy. Hey, where am I? Who am I? Darn it! What are you looking at? Yeah, <laughs> He's gone completely, you, Loopy. It's like being knocked out or something. Or on drugs, or high. But you're a guy. Uh, um, I'm dizzy, huh? I'm okay. I'm okay. Let me be. I just who whoever wrote the dialogue for this game? The hell, man! The hell! I don't even. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna go this way because there was a guy the other way. And I don't really feel like dealing with that. Actually, that loops around anyway, so that works. Uh, we haven't actually gotten a comment in a long time. Just just to note that. Um, got a bunch of things. Got a shit ton of Inferno books, which do a decent amount of damage. But I don't need, like, 50 of them. I also don't need a Steel Wall book, so we'll get rid of that as well. And that gives us three items, which we're going to need more eventually. But that works for now. And Regenera books are pretty good. I won't need three of them, but two of them... I'll take two and I'll, I'll, I'll bank the rest. So, uh, that actually completes that little loop, which is nice. And, uh, yeah, that's all there is. There's just the loop and then the path this way, which has a guy. But I might be able to juke if he goes over towards me. Except he's going to just fall asleep now, so... Oh, whatever. Let's just, let's just take care of him. Initiative, please? No, you can't even give me that, can you? Initiative is so finicky sometimes. It's just blah, 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 blah. Punch buggy, no punchbacks. I'm not sure why I just wanted that reference, but but we'll roll with it. That that's a thing now. Anyways, <laughs> um, let's just continue forward. Uh, we're looking for story time. We're looking for the end of this area. It's probably gonna be a bit of a long one because, well, let's face it, they're always long ones. But uh, we'll we'll make through it. Be good. Have good times. Uh, and then, like I said. We're getting really close to some like really cool stuff. Coup divine beast, right? I have a coup divine beast. Your name is I Boo. Know. It rhymes with coup. It's really cool, and I, you're a fool, <laughs> yo. Don't be silly. Them coups got really strong attacks. Yeah, they you do. Can't they hurt. Go suddenly attacking divine beast. Yep. Coups are good. The best. Coups forever. I do like the oh, coups. They're really no. nice. The forest air must have gotten to this idiot. Was that? I like how they didn't say she's pl he's plastered. You go find your own stuff, you. Yay, you gave me a coup power up. Jabbering about. Hey, guys, shouldn't you get on home? And their feet are good, slim and straight. I love them. <laughs> okay, now you're just obsessing over coup feet. <laughs> you really ought to go back to the temple. <laughs> Guy who's like, Haha, no, go away. I need an adult. Hey, you like coups? Give me another thing. Darn. Anyway, might as well go ahead and use it because uh, it's, it's good. Gives uh, it's more food, food strength going on here because Boo doesn't have enough magic power yet. My goodness, when she learns the, the AoE move. Holy cannolis, is she going to... That's story time already? Really? Okay. But holy cannolis, is she going to do some massive damage then? But okay, that was, that was story time, guys. Not really the most exciting. Then again, we've kind of seen the case of that being the case for... Uh, Quite a few of these. Also, speaking of coups, good for you. Uh, are you going to be the A rank Agni Agna, or are you going to be the AOE Soldo? That's the big question of the day. And the answer is, you're neither of them. You're the other one. Or wait, no. I don't remember which which one you are. I forget which form is, does which. But defenses always good. Yeah, you're the physical. No, maybe. I think it's the physical attacking one. So that would be... Have we run into those even? I'm not sure if 
we have it. I'm not sure. I don't think it's supposed to be on this floor. So no, this has to be the magic using one, right? I've managed to confuse myself somehow. You're the magic using one, correct? No! Whoa! Oh! You have the S rank killer chance. Okay, I didn't realize you get that one so early. So that explains why I was confused. Yep, it's the one that does uh, extra damage on crit, which is really nice to have. I probably will give it to Tamal next. So that'll probably be going to him next time he's ready to go, which will be cool. So uh, if I had known we were going to be getting it in this forest, I might have actually considered giving it to him now, except he needed a new win move. I could have given Fu and kept it in the corner, but interesting. I didn't really uh, realize he'd be here, so that kind of throws off my whole my whole plan. Uh, but okay, that that's cool actually. That's that's fine. Uh, it's not really the biggest deal in the world. I can always give it to, to Mullen next. And I do like having this double confusion. As you can see, it's it's come in handy already. And it's gonna hopefully no. I was gonna I was gonna say hopefully he's gonna hurt himself, and I'll be like ha, ah, it's worked again. But not today. Hurt yourself? Come on. I just want you to punch yourself in the face. Is that really so much to ask for? Come on, I'm not asking you to save the world. I just want you to... Wow, you actually do a decent amount of damage. I mean, his defense is lowered and everything, but still. Uh, let's just go ahead and hit yourself. Man. Confusion is disappointing when it doesn't work out, though. It's not as reliable as blind against physical opponents. It, it's more reliable than... It's it just uh, it can work on anything. It can certainly have some hilarious results. Double confusion is probably not worth it, but uh, having one person of confusion, I think, is a good idea. And also, the fact that I was able to get Fu and Mago is really nice. I don't know, Killer Chance is nice, because, you know, extra crit damage. I'm still not 100% convinced it's the move I want to give to Tamar or not. It's just an option that I'm heavily considering. Anyway, we've seen these guys like 50 times now. Go away. Boom! Done! So, yeah, Meta is definitely really low on MP right now. Oh, oh we can actually merge uh, PK, that's right. Probably I might be able to merge him relatively early on. Not that I really have anything I need to give him right now. So it's not really the biggest deal that I can merge him. It's just kind of like, okay, he can merge, cool, whatever. Cool story, bro. But, uh, like, there's no move in particular I'm really looking for him. I like having Ramakite on him. There's not really a better move to give. There's not really an S rank move to give, uh, necessarily, except maybe the barrier one, but I'm kind of a little iffy on giving barrier to him anyway, so... I don't know. Anyway, I don't need, like, 50 of these. I really don't. They're cool, but no, I don't really need three Inferno books either, so this will, uh, hopefully be enough for us to get through this area without, you know, any more... More Regenera books! Cool! We'll go with that. Uh, where's our next little place to go? And this is going to loop around. Oh, you want to chase me down. That's... Oh, there was a guy behind here. I don't even know who you are. Who are you back here? I apparently have an issue. Okay, this is actually a fight we haven't seen before. So cool. I got to see a fight we haven't done yet. Because uh, it's the guy who's going to have... He's going to, I believe, have the B rank move. But it's going to be, you know, the representative of the S rank killer chance thing. So we've seen these guys before. Comes with two of these guys that do the whole magic damage to everyone, which is kind of annoying. So I don't really want to bother a few people, but... I don't really have much of a choice, so here I have a Samakia, and then I'm just going to go ahead and smack you down a bit, because that's what I do. So you're dead, and then hopefully I either kill you or confuse you, and I actually confuse you. Kill yourself! Disappointed. Disappointing! All I want is to watch people murder themselves, is that really too much to ask for? Can't a guy have some fun watching helpless murder? Totally legit. Anyway, just getting the experience in for these two and then going to the fire formation to finish them off. Uh, hit yourselves! Yeah! Boom! Everyone dies! <laughs> Confusion is hilarious. I love it. I love it so. I do, I do, I do. Uh, that's the other reason why giving small the confusions is nice, because if there's a status effect I want to have on someone, it's confusion. And uh, that means ceiling goes first. Ceiling ha um, so if someone's going to die, uh, Celine will kill him, and then if there's another Divine Beast left over, Tamal will get the Confusion on them. Now, Confusion isn't going to work for, on bosses, as far as I'm aware, so there's that to consider, but... Well, it might work. I don't know if Confusion works on bosses or not. Um, 
I imagine it wouldn't as well as poison and sometimes blind does, but it might be an option. I don't think I have one of you. That's right, I'm gonna have to actually think of people to name these after at this point. Which at this point I'm just like, uh, I have run out of names so hardcore, but you know, I'll have to brainstorm more I guess. So you get punched in the face, it's all fine and dandy. You get punched in the face, you get punched in the face, and you just kind of tap me. It's it's all good. Um, so as usual, we'll just head here and get the whole confusion and defense lowering thing. At least they recover enough MP to get the defense boosting lowering thing, and that's ultimately the most important thing to be getting right now. Uh, don't kill the baby. Oh, could have killed so many other people that would have been much more important. But no, you had to go for the children. You monster. Anyway, let's just go ahead. <laughs> I just realized this is essentially the premise right now is that Tamal's punching people so hard that he confuses them. It's a pretty damn hard punch, I guess. Uh, so, to get a little bit extra damage on. I mean, I don't really need the healing anyway, so it works. Look at that epic dodge. He just sort of like struts his stuff. He's just like, dodge! Yo, you missed! He doesn't really move. He's just like, Ur! My chest slash neck is so awesome that you missed your move anyway. At least that's the excuse I'm giving. So, Limit Break hits him, and Limit Breaks hits him, and I think at this point I can just use uh, my Earth Formation to finish this battle off, which will save Tamal a little bit. Of, well, actually, it wouldn't really. It doesn't really matter because we would finish him off anyway, but whatever. We'll do the Earth Formation, just because I said so. Bonk! And now we go steal babies again. Hooray! Well, then again, I'm pretty sure I'm not on the name one. I'm pretty sure I do have to name this one, but the first one I got, I'm like 99% sure I'm not going to have to name, so that's fine. I think this is the one you can pick up in, uh, you can pick this one up in the store early game if you so choose, but I didn't because I, Tamal's my physical attacker. I mean, I think these guys actually make for better physical attackers anyway. Also, I want this Metal Elixir so badly because then I can give it to someone and it'll be good. So, come to me, Metal Elixir. We're going to be best friends because I'm going to immediately use you on... Uh, actually, do I want to immediately use you on someone? Not really. Let's just keep you as is and we'll use you at the end of this forest uh, before the boss. Assuming I don't run into a healing thing, which if I do run into a healing thing, that'd actually be pretty cool. But I feel like we're getting fairly close to the end here. So unless like there's like a healing thing here, which there isn't, there's just more things I can't get because cry cry. Uh, Inferno book, go away. How many regenerate books do I have? I have three. I don't really need three. Two is enough. Because I don't think I'm going to lose that many Divine Beasts barring me running to more of those guys who just instant kill. Those guys are dicks. So, uh, okay, we have one more place here. Can we just be like a heal thing? That'd be just swell. You're a Kalma. Okay. Been waiting. Hopefully you're the uh, the AOE one. That'd be also pretty awesome. I'm fairly sure I missed the single target magic spell very early on. Like, I'm fairly sure that was, uh, yeah, that, this one. Um, I'm fairly sure the, the single target one's like in the first floor or something that I've already missed it by quite some time. So, this is just the AOE one. Like I said, the best way to counter is just to get your defenses on and uh, go from there. Because they hurt all your Divine Beasts. Not very fun. And then the other option I can go for here is just go into my one formation and hopefully get the confusion hacks going on here. Because that's always a fun time. Uh, although I am worried that I will two-shot and then it will kill itself like I did that other time with the mouse. So let's go into our water formation first just to be safe. I mean, yeah, this is going to hurt, but it doesn't matter because A, he goes first, and B, now I heal. So that's the nice thing about the water formation is with two healers, you can essentially heal back all the HP you need if you get damaged during that turn, assuming you just don't blatantly die. Which, if I did blatantly die, that would be kind of a bit of a problem, but, well... Samakia, gonna lower his defense, and hopefully we won't kill you. That's the plan here. Gonna confuse you, gonna kill you. Okay, well, Fu misses out on a little bit of experience. I'm not gonna lose sleep over it. It's not the end of the world. So, do your little dance, Kahu. And level ups, except Fu's still the one in the lead. I'm pretty sure, like, her line just doesn't need as much experience. 
I'm pretty sure that's just a thing. Because, like, well, let's actually compare, because we can see how much experience she's gotten compared to everyone else. Uh, like, she's gotten less experience. So she just levels up faster. That's just a thing she does. So, noted her. She just levels up faster than people, which is why it's nice that she's missing out on experience, because in the end it doesn't really affect her that much, does it? Anyway, now that we're at the end of this, it's time to heal up our MP a little bit, and uh, we can get ready for El Basso of this area. That's going to be kind of cool. So, uh, a couple more elixirs just to make sure everyone's ship shape. And it's time. The fire boss awaits. This is going to be exciting and intense, folks, as we take on Fire Tower and hope to be victorious. So, Kahu Kahu Kahu. Wu and Nam are both waiting here. As we know, though. Oh man, how long are you gonna make me wait? He's not coming. Oh come on, you know I am. I'm not making you wait. It is the orb. It is there. Orb demands sacrifice. That means that I won, right? Hmm. Have you? Huh? What do you mean? The orb chooses people. It shines not on the unworthy. Now, stay there. Yeah, the orb isn't doesn't like you, Nam. Not again. Don't mess with me. I won, right? Not I'm yet. Strong. I got strong shoes. I can even see the orb. Me, I guess it's impressive they made this far. <laughs> but it does not shine at all, right? Why not? Well, it was just kind of trolling Nam. It's kind of sad. Oh, well, now it's shining. But who's it shining for? Not you, Nab. It's shining for me. Ooh, you're so slow. I can't believe it. You're so dense. Woo. Huh? What's wrong? See, Nam, it was not you for whom the orb was waiting. Guess the orb just does, likes me better. Why not me? The orb plays favorites. What is wrong with me? And now Nam is having a little tizzy again. I don't accept that. Let's just disregard the fact that I've beaten you twice already, Nam. Let's, let's, let's pr just pretend that never existed. But anyway, Nam is our next, as our, our okay, boss, as you can expect. However, he's the easiest of them all. The reason is... Oh, actually, no, he's not the easiest. I thought he only had, I thought he had a lot fewer Divine Beasts. Okay, I guess, uh... You know, Kakoda is definitely the easiest, because she only has four Divine Beasts, but... I just remember him not being very threatening. Now I'm kind of curious as to why, because... These guys kind of look scary, though. <laughs> well, they're not going to have instant death, because they're not in the wind formation, but I wonder what else they're going to do. Anyway, let's just go ahead and murder one of them immediately. Okay, no, they do have, actually, potent spells. No, okay, Nam is actually a decent threat, because he's a very offensive threat. <laughs> he looks so silly doing the magic! Okay, for some reason, I just remembered the Nam fight completely wrong in my mind. Because he actually is uh, able to do a lot more than just... Uh... For some reason, I thought he only had, like, he had, like, only a couple rows of Divine Beasts and not, like, three rows of them. So that does make him significantly more threatening. But, uh, even so, at this point, my defenses are high enough where I feel pretty confident in my ability to win. I don't want to be switching my water formation into anything like this, but I feel like I can switch my fire formation into this and be good. Now, he is going to have a team of all Chews, I believe, because as we've heard, he loves Chews and I don't, so it's the battle of Chews versus... Foos? I don't know. I don't really have a, a good... It's not like a bros versus hoes thing. It's Chews versus Foos? I don't know. Not really. I've already killed two of your formations, so I don't know. He doesn't have the sort of crazy moves that Cure does, or the tricksy instant death slash sleeping moves that Gil does. So I still rank him third on the list, but no, uh, Choco's definitely the worst by far. Uh, he's going to have to go his Earth Formation now. I'm not sure exactly what he has here, if it's anything threatening or not, so hopefully we'll just uh, confuse him and kill him. Which is exactly what happens. What exactly do you do here? Oh! Explode! It does a set 150 damage. 
It's basically the S uh, version of Crush, which a set 150 damage is actually kind of scary. But at this point, as you can see, we've poked the holes in all of his team. So we're just going to heal up and essentially uh, be victorious because we just need to go ahead and hit him and win. And just survive his uh, few attacks here. So he is entirely offensive. Uh, he has a high magic attack thing. He has a high... Uh, he has this sort of set and he has the other one. So I guess this is another reason to save him for last because I imagine if he has enough... If you're, if you're still pretty low level, he can actually do a lot of damage. So I take it back. Nav is pretty difficult. He's just a very straightforward guy. He doesn't do anything tricky, he just goes through the, the kill. And in the end, it's not really that bad. Wow. Just getting rude here. But yeah, this is gonna hurt, because I... Ah, that, that did hurt. But at this point, I have no qualm of just going to here and winning. So, while he is certainly a threat, uh... That's... That, that works. You're so angry, Nam. You're so mad, bro. So, that's the end of that fight. Um, nothing really too special. Like I said, he's entirely offensive. I am certainly thrown off because I wasn't. For some reason, I just remember the fight completely differently. But we have a winner indeed. I'm victorious. I mean, are you surprised? It's the last of the forest. They're always the easiest because you've been leveled up so much. You lost. Yeah, you're, you're the one who stole the Divine Beast guy. Sore loser. Will you run away again? No matter where you run to, you cannot run away from yourself. Kind of the moral of the story here for this forest. You do not accept defeat. You are narrow-minded. Real strength lies not within physical strength. Divine beasts, nor winning. It lies in accepting what is all around you and aiming toward a higher consciousness. You are still young. You may win and you may lose. You must lose your way, suffer, and then cultivate your own power. It's not the victories that make us strong. It's the, it's the loss. It's the failure. Power. Master, please take me on as a pupil. I beg you. Now I'm kind of doing a bit of a 180 here, I guess. Master, by you. And yet, I have given you an unwanted sermon. Okay, I'll take you on. But you must return the Divine Beasts. Thank you very much. So Nam learns his lesson. Decides to become Wu's pupil. And, uh, all's well that ends well. No one died today. No one's team got broken up. You know, he turned out okay in the end. Nam did. Not a terrible ending to that story, but this is the final orb, guys. Which means, well, we do have to do the forest wrap-up before anything interesting happens. But we have the final orb. The forests are now complete. Exciting times. So, now that this is taken care of... To be frank. I'm surprised you've conquered all the forest tribes. That's because they're awesome. Now the preparations for the Kalma summoning are complete. You can finally get rid of the Kalma inside us and maybe survive. But it's not going to be easy. I made a new friend. A really strong one. Nam's not your friend, buddy. Huh? A friend? She's a friend? The awful one? Wait, she? She beat you up, giving you bruises all over. <laughs> oh, weird. She? That that's the code. Right, Levant? She? That may be. If you think so, Kahu. Then she's a fine friend. Is Nam a girl? I don't get it. But I don't have any friends after all. Poor Nico. But wait, 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 wait. Is Nam supposed to be a girl? I'm a little confused now. The enemy you fight from now on is yourself. Understand. Whatever, moving on. I quite understand, but the stronger I get, the scarier it gets. Yeah, as we've been growing, getting bigger and bigger. so has our darkness. Like I'm being controlled by someone. I don't know who. Probably the evil guy inside you. The that might be it. Have now might be the power of that guy. Your tail. Everyone 
seems to like it. The girls like it too. The girl seems to like it too. Not it at all. Levant, are you okay? What if you use the dark loot and the unthinkable happens? Our power is not to be used for destruction. Our flutes are to play the requiem of souls. These are my master's words. Don't worry. It will be okay. Not very reassured by this, but uh but I'll do the best I can. The preparations are here. We have the orb's power. We have the loot. We can summon the Kalma out of us anytime. He was equal in skill to the Lion of Perel. More lore. Control Hooray. Himself. True purification lies therein. Once you are more composed, come talk to me. I'll be waiting. So whenever we want to fight the uh, the Kalma inside us, we have to talk to Levant. But we have more preparations to take care of. We have the forest wrap-ups to do, as we know. We also have to go turn these Divine Beasts and the quests and uh, heal up and... Mentally prepare for this battle, all sorts of stuff. So it'll still be a couple episodes before we find out exactly what happens. But the battle between good and Kahu and evil Kahu, the rematch of the century, coming soon. As you can see, I don't care about this because you're just attacking slimy. Who cares? Um, this isn't terrible because speed up three is always good and soldier is always good. Um, don't really necessarily care for this one. And this is actually really nice because XSL damage on critical hit, so lots of damage on crit. And Berserka does up your attack if you take damage, so that's not a terrible skill either. So I might be giving that one to Tamal. Not something I still need to think about, but uh, at this point, uh, I do need to quickly check to see if I have these Divine Beasts or not, so give me a moment. Okay, as, as I thought, I already have one of these, but I don't have one of these, so we'll hatch this person, name him after. You know what? Even though I don't really personally watch the Elpicure or know much about him, this guy was still... Uh, one of my key Pokemon in... Hey, you got an extra ability. Cool. But uh, he was one of my key Pokemon in uh, Heart Gold, so... We'll, we'll have the return of Mithril, I think, bro. Mithril? Why not? Uh, that seems like a, a thing to do. So... I mean, it's not like I'm ever going to use the guy, because, as you know, uh, I kind of have my team figured out, but... I, I always get like, a chance to give shoutouts to people. It's always pretty cool. Thank you for coming. May the children... Yeah, yeah, you say this every time. I don't care anymore. Anyway, uh, let's head to the lounge, turn our quest in, do some uh, other preparations, and it's going to be kind of a shorter episode overall, but that's okay, because... Uh, that's fine. We had a couple of long episodes anyway, so it's good that we're getting a short one now. Sorry to make you wait. Yeah, yeah. Really? I'm so glad. Okay, here's your reward. Thank you. And a resurrect book. So it's a bit better than regenerate books that we've gotten, but it also will open up the shop's options for other good stuff. So, uh, got more resurrect books, always good, like I said, but we can now get more MP boosting things as well on top of that. So, uh, or no, it doesn't expand it into getting you. So you don't get those back. You just, oh, you, you buy resurrect books, MP back books, though. Which are almost better alternatives in a way. So, unfortunately, okay, I lied, you don't get the MP. The Metal Elixir 7s and the Twill Mug Warts, but we get Resurrect Books, and that's almost better, in my opinion. So I'm okay with this outcome. Uh, Metal Elixir 5s are not terrible anyway, so I don't mind that. Storing you, storing two of you, uh, storing all of these, because Resurrect Books are better, and I can get a bunch of Metal Elixirs. And as much as I want MP Back Books, they're not really needed, so... We'll just uh, stock up on three of these. Oh, I have to sell my cute gems as well. But yeah, that's going to be it for this episode, though, guys. Uh, this is Lucky 70 x sign out. We took care of the tournament already, so that's good. But we still have a lot of the other, uh, a lot of comma that we're missing. Oh, wait. No, okay, this is for selling. I was going to say, I'm just, I'm just losing my mind. It's been a long day, guys. Like, clearly, I've drunk too much of the forest air myself. So, this is Lucky70X signing out. I will see you guys in the next episode where we do uh, where we, um, go through all the A-Rank for us and get the remaining story time segments and the comma that we need. And then after that, we talk to Levant. We fight ourselves. It's going to be a good time. But uh, there's still a lot to come. Interesting things. So, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.